Today's question is an entertainment question. Today's question is a season ticket holder question. Today's question is, who has the most entertaining home schedule? If you're buying season tickets, who are you getting the most juice from the opponents? Uh, or if you are a long-time season ticket holder, who in the triangle, uh, the season ticket holders out there, are they most excited about this year? Because that's the thing you check, right? If you're a season ticket holder and you're, you're, you've been a season ticket holder for four decades, the thing you care about most is, all right, who's on the home schedule this year? Right? Are the tail late, are tailgates going to be fun? Are they going to have a, a – do we have to protect our seats because a team that travels well is coming to town? Uh, it, like You have to ask about the home schedule. If you're buying season tickets, which team in the triangle is getting the most juice from the opponents? I have them ranked here. But first, let's talk about them. Graham, which school you want to hear first? Let's go with the school that I believe has the easiest home schedule, and that would be the NC State Wolfpack. NC State Wolfpack. Uh, Western Carolina, Louisiana Tech, Northern Illinois, Wake Forest, Syracuse, Stanford, Duke. That's the home schedule. I, I To me, Tim, that just sounds like undefeated at home this year for NC State. I was going to ask you. Something they've been close to accomplishing in years past. And I'm not saying – easy home schedule as a knock at NC State. I'm just saying that schedule shapes up for them to be pretty comfortable and with home field advantage for NC State in their favor, I don't see why they couldn't go undefeated at home. Who's the who's like the premier matchup? Like like uh, Northern it, Illinois because it's a Dave Dorman Union game. No, I'm just joking. Like if you get if you have season tickets but maybe you you like co own them. You got like a, a couple buddies, mm -hmm. you, you buy a pair of tickets and you just kind of talk it out. Like, if you get first draft pick, which game are you taking? See, that's the thing that's tricky about their home schedule. It's not like they played Tennessee at home. Remember, that's that that's neutral, neutral game yep. in Charlotte Duke's Mayo Bowl. Even though Duke's they Mayo are the Classic, home team in that game. Even though they are the home team in that not, game. It's not at home. But as far as Premier, you don't have Clemson coming to town this year. You don't have North Carolina coming to, the, coming to town this year. You don't have a Florida State. I mean, you get to welcome Sanf Stanford into the ACC by bringing them into town. Wake Forest, that's an in-state matchup. If you want me to be honest, and I mean on paper, maybe at that part of the season it might not be the sexiest matchup, but it might be Duke just because how often is Duke rolling to Carter-Finley Stadium? Duke is, is one of them. I think also maybe Stanford for the novelty element. That's what I'm saying, just for the, the just first to see, game. Yeah, to see the first time they play as conference rivals. I uh, I think that's a pretty, quite frankly, boring home schedule. Again, and, and and if NC State is what we think they're going to be this year, which is very good, and they played the transfer portal fantastically, and they filled a bunch of holes, and they have a bunch of it. I mean, there shouldn't be many close games at home, right? Again, it's a boring schedule, but it sets up for a nice schedule as far as record wise for NC State. Now, if you just want to go top three biggest games on the schedule, I know we're kind of segueing away from the segment a little bit. Road originally. game, road game, road game. <laughs> Tennessee, yep. In short, just because I feel like that sets the standard for this new. Roster pretty much for NC State football. Clemson on the road, not because it's Clemson on the road and you beat them last that's year. That's early in the season as well, right? But that's early in the season. That's actually their first ACC game. So you go ahead and get that game out of the way, whether it's a win that sets up perfectly for the rest of your season as far as maybe taking the ACC title. That's a, that's, that's a big game. If you lose that game, you still have a lot to play for. And NC State fans hopefully will understand me when I say this. Thursday night, Georgia Tech on the road the week before North Carolina – for most NC State football teams, there's always that stump your toe game, right? Hmm. Going down to Atlanta, Thursday night game. That game's already been slated as an ESPN broadcast. When's our bye week? Is that a short All week? All eyes on you. Uh, that game will be... I, lo I love... They'll play Duke the week before on November I 9th. I love ACC Thursday night. That actually will be their... Yeah, they'll get, they'll, their bye week will fall in between that. ACC Thursday night. Fantastic. I love it a bunch. No, excuse me. Their bye week's actually October nineteenth or October twenty sixth in between Cal and Stanford. No. Oh, keep that's right. They gotta go two. They, they gotta, gotta go they two gotta Cal. Go, they gotta travel go two all Cal. they need the extra extra week. All right, so that's the, they're they're the bottom. They're they they are third in in home schedule entertainment value. Uh but also, you know, like you said, they should probably win a bunch of them. Uh what team do you want to talk about next? Let's go with the team that has some Kind of premier matchups just for in-state authenticity, North Carolina. 
North Carolina, Charlotte, NC Central, James Madison, Pitt, Georgia Tech, Wake, NC State. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd say I'd say they're second, right? And and that's almost by default. Uh, Charlotte is going to bring a, a little bit of that in-state stuff. North Carolina Central, a little bit of that in-state stuff. You're still not, you know, expecting those games to be close if you're a North Carolina fan, or hoping they're not close if you're a North Carolina fan. But because they are in-state, they do bring a little bit of uh, of, of rivalry there. James Madison, I've talked about that. If you let, if you fall asleep on them, they'll punch you in your mouth. But they don't bring exactly the Q score, right? The fame score that that some other teams bring. Pitt, Georgia Tech. I mean, ge- enter in generic ACC game, and you get like UNC Pitt and UNC Georgia Tech. They're just right middle of the road. Well, it's great to see North Carolina Central and HBCU play mm-hmm. in North Carolina. It's been successful. Yep, they just won the championship a couple of years ago. And then you have UNC Charlotte, as we mentioned, that was part of that bill that got denied, where UNC Charlotte or North Carolina was going to be required to play mm-hmm. some of those in-state schools. James Matthews, you mentioned. What I do find interesting, and again, I know I really say let's focus on the home games, but Duke to start off ACC play on the road in Durham early on the season first ACC game Duke hold on hold on Duke to start off on the road in Durham what what are we going at here just look at their overall schedule as well too first first ACC game Duke can't be on the road in Durham what what is happening here September 28th versus Duke they played them last year in Chapel Hill you're talking about UNC on the road at Duke Yes, what okay. did I say? You were saying Duke on the road in Durham. Oh. And and I, I no, my, Duke, my brain was in a pretzel. Duke is not going to the Durham Sports Stadium. <laughs> I was very – Durham in, County Stadium. UNC starting their ACC play in Durham is is where that was. Uh, I mean, yeah, anytime you get the, the, those two teams together. But uh, we're gonna actually going to, you know – I have to talk about that game in a, uh, in a in a in a second here. Uh, I like Wake Forest and NC State, two more in-state yep. ACC opponents. I like them being at home. It just seems like North Carolina, their home games are all like driving distance they're for playing their for opponents. The sta- they're playing for the state title, pretty <laughs> much. Like Charlotte, North Carolina Central, James Madison's not super duper far. Wake Forest, NC State, like all the that's <laughs> you're like you, you know. I don't know. It just feels like a weird home schedule. They have a chance to get revenge on Georgia Tech or lose to Georgia Tech again, but we'll see what's going on (laughs) at that point in the season. Uh, And then first, the best home schedule uh, when it comes to entertainment value of the Triangle teams actually goes to Duke. Elon shouldn't be too crazy. Uh, Connecticut shouldn't be too crazy. Then from that point forward, it's go time. Yeah. UNC, Florida State, SMU, Virginia Tech. That... That's the that's, most. That's a gauntlet. It's the most entertaining stretch of home games of any team in the triangle, right? Um, the most entertaining game might be something like NC State at UNC, but the most entertaining stretch is Duke with UNC, Florida State, SMU, who's better than you think, and Virginia Tech all, all come into the area. And it's really just UNC, Florida State, and SMU if we're being real. But uh, but Duke has the most entertaining home schedule. 